So as I said in my previous review for that uh, Nike Air Max Sander, I think that Nike is bringing back a lot of retros nowadays. One of it was that Nike Shox Ride 2. We also had that Nike Sander which um, is making a comeback and now uh, more recently we also got another one which was originally released back in 2006 and this one made a comeback around two months ago if I'm not mistaken where they came on the market for a high return price but that one was a collaboration with Comme de Garçon but in case you are not looking for an, such an expensive release of course definitely the today's pair will be one of it and welcome back for a brand new review if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and also giving me a like it really help out the channel in today's video guys as i said earlier we're gonna have a look at the latest release coming for a pair of nike air max which was released back uh, in 2006 for the first time so let's go ahead and start with the box guys which as you can see will come in one of the regular ones in this red color which will have this big nike lettering and also nike sushi in this white color here on top and also on all sides of the box as well but smaller so let's just go ahead and take them out guys so in today's video we're gonna have a look at this very colorful release for this uh, nike air max uh, tl 2.5 So released originally back in 2006 guys this uh, Air Max uh, TL 2.5 it's uh, making a comeback now in 2024 but as I said earlier we got around two months ago an official release with uh, Comme de Garçon which most of the times will come at a high return price which if I'm mistaken was very close to 290 pounds or around 300 US dollars which for sure it's a lot. So nevertheless, uh, quite recently we got a uh, few colorways uh, as a general release for this uh, Air Max TL 2.5 which uh, will retail for just uh, 165 pounds or around 180 US dollars and this one will make uh, part of this Air Max family which to be honest in the last couple of years we just got a lot of them for the Nike Air Max 97 this one just made a comeback now in 2024 but since 2006 i don't remember these ones dropping at all but if you're a fan back in the early 2000s i think now as these ones are making a comeback for sure you'll have your chance to get a great pair of shoes which at least in my opinion it's a bit more comfortable than air max 97s which even though will have the same air sole unit this one will have the rest of the midsole made out of a different material which feels nicer underfoot so let's go ahead and also do a small breakdown of this one guys so as you can see for this upper we're gonna have a mix of a few materials as a base layer we're gonna have this uh, off white and orange uh, mesh material which uh, are looking quite nice and this one will be present for most of this upper and of course on top we're gonna have a few overlays but unfortunately all of them will be synthetic so starting here at the front of the tobo section we're gonna have some uh, synthetic leather in this uh, very dark gray colorway which will also have some reflective uh, hints on each side and also here uh, in between the leather and this uh, orange bead then this synthetic leather will also be present uh, here in the midfoot as a mudguard and also slightly above it and it will be present on both medial and lateral side as you can see this synthetic leather will also be present here at the back covering the whole heel section where we're also gonna have a lot of perforation holes we're also gonna have this uh, air max lettering on top of this uh, reflective material and just above it we're also gonna have this uh, small nike swoosh uh, embroidered which will also be present here at the front of the tobo section and on each side of the shoe on this white mesh material we're also gonna have this uh, small tpu silver uh, material 
which will give it a very nice uh, design. Then uh, continuing the midfoot, we're also gonna have this uh, Nike Sushi as uh, embroidered in this orange color, which will use again some synthetic leather. And going now uh, to the lacing system, we're gonna have for the bottom half uh, this punch out holes. And the rest of it will be actually tucked down underneath the side walls. We're also gonna have written air on the lateral side as well. So this lacing system will keep in place this off-white flat laces and underneath these laces we're gonna have a well padded tongue in this uh, off-white color which as you can see on the middle will have this uh, nice uh, TPU material uh, in this grey and white color and we're also gonna have this uh, 2006 uh, number making reference to the official release from back in 2006 going now inside of the shoe guys you can see that uh, for the back uh, of the tongue we're gonna have this uh, very nice material which will be present for the rest of the lining here at the back but this one will come in this off-white color so the texture looks quite nice in my opinion this one feels a bit premium underneath we're also gonna have a decent amount of padding which for sure will keep your foot quite good in place and also at the bottom we're gonna have this uh, foam insole which will have a very nice imprint uh, on top with uh, the nike lettering the air max 2.5 comfort and also performance written um, everywhere so now guys we can go to this very interesting looking uh, midsole which will come in this uh, white color for the top part which will be a fine on material which feels actually quite uh, soft to the touch and underneath we're gonna have a full length uh, air sole unit in this uh, orange color which will have this uh, see-through window which for sure uh, it's looking quite nice so even though this one will use the same uh, air sole unit as the air max 97 as i said earlier as we're gonna have a different material for this upper which will be a phylon i feel that this one feels a bit more comfortable underfoot so now guys we can finish with this uh, rubber outsole in this black white and orange colorway which it seems that is gonna have a modified waffle pattern which for sure is looking actually quite interesting as you can see for the top part of the shoe we're gonna have written a full length air on these lugs and for the bottom half we're gonna have a lot of this uh, Air Max uh, TL 2.5 branding alongside uh, the lettering for ride comfort and performance and at the bottom we're also gonna have this nikerunning.com lettering as well as in for the actual sizing guys for this one I went with my true to size and I need to admit that for me as i have a skinny fit this one feels a bit roomy so most definitely my recommendation will be that for people with skinny feet you should go with a half size down for people with normal feet uh, you can just stay with your true to size and in case you have white feet guys most definitely you should go with at least a half size up so overall guys this brand new release which is actually a comeback of an original release from back in 2006 in my opinion it's looking quite nice and it also uses quite good materials as well and even though we're gonna have synthetic overlays for this uh, upper i feel that this one feels actually quite nice at least in my opinion this one will be a bit more comfortable than the nike air max 97 but i really feel that this one uh, having this uh, slightly different materials for this upper will be a bit more breathable and also a bit more comfortable which will also be the case for the midsole as well which is gonna use a different material for the top part of the midsole which for sure is quite noticeable underfoot and as i said earlier in case you want to have something a bit more exclusive you can go for the comme de garçon release which will come at a higher retail price but for sure the design looks a bit more futuristic and uh, more exclusive i would say so yeah guys, uh, this was my unboxing and reviewing of uh, another pair of uh, retros. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, uh, don't forget to press the like button, maybe also subscribe to the channel. Of course, if you want to have a look at any of my latest reviews, you can choose from any of the videos which you have now on the screen. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.